In this video, we will discuss many-to-many -many relationship, which in Larvel is also known as belongs to many relationship. So let's uh, let us assume we have a student's table with these fields, and we have a subject table with ID as primary key. Now one student can subscribe to multiple subjects. Other students they might also subscribe to the same subjects. So how we can connect? these two tables well we can do so with the help of a pivot table this pivot table will have a foreign key from both students and the subject table notice the naming convention of the pivot pivot table it is formed by combining the two tables in the alphabetical form so student will come before subject notice both of them are singular let's see how we can define this relationship in larvel we go to our student model and define the relationship with subjects we define a method and give it a name as subjects and this will return belongs to many relationship and we are going to pass it the subject class we go to the subject model and we define a similar relationship with the students this will return the belongs to many relationship and we are going to pass it the student class and that is it In order to save the records in the pivot table, we go to the tinker. We fetch a student. We can fetch subject of the student using the method subjects. Well, this returns an empty collection because so far we have not defined any association. So let's create one using the attach method. What we are going to do is we are going to call the subject method, subjects method, and we are going to call attach on it. And within this attach, we are going to pass one. Here, one is the ID of the subject table. So when I press enter, now if we go to our database, refresh it, we see we have this entry in our pivot table which connects student id1 with subject id1. And now if we refresh our student object and fetch these subjects, we see that we get the subject with id1 which is english and it is related to this student we can also link multiple records using the attach method what we are going to do is we are going to pass this attach method instead of passing an id we are going to pass it an array let's say we pass two and three and now if we refresh our database we see that we have two more entries in the pivot table which links student id1 with subject id 2 and 3 that we just passed and if we refresh our student and fetch the subjects we should get all three and here we go id1 id2 and id3 In order to remove the association, we could use the detach method. So we are going to call the student subjects and to the detach we could pass either an array or a single value. We are going to pass 1 and 3 and now if we refresh our database, 
we see that 1 and 3 has been removed and now we only have record with id 2. Now currently our student 1 is attached to these three subjects 1, 2 and 3. Now let's see what the sync method does. What we are going to do is we are going to call the sync methods and pass it an array 1, 2 and 4. Now since subjects with id 1 and 2 are already linked to the student, they will be left as it is. Since 4 is currently not linked to the student, it will define a link with this student. And since we are not passing 3 in, the, in this array, so that association will be removed. So let's press enter. And there we go. It gives us some details that it has attached 4 and it has detached 3. So now if I refresh it, instead of this 1, 2 and 3, I will have 1, 2 and 4. So this sync method is extremely useful when you are using to save using the user input via form. We have this uh, toggle method. So if you pass this pass an array to it, let's say we are going to pass 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. What it will do is, if an association is found, it will remove the association and if there is no association, it will add an association. Since an association already exists with 1, 2 and 4, it will remove those. And since there is no association with id 3 and 5, those two will be added. We press enter and we get the response that 3 and 5 have been attached and 1, 2 and 4 have been detached. And if we refresh our DB, we get the same values. Now let's say the name of your pivot table is changed from student underscore subject to subjects of students. Let's see how we can manage this in Laravel. We could specify the name of the pivot table as the second parameter. So we are going to specify it subjects of students. By default, it was name as student underscore subject. We could also pass it the third and the fourth parameter. The third parameter, it specifies the name of the foreign key for this table in the pivot table. So since this is the student table and we know that the name of the foreign key in the pivot table is student underscore id, we are going to specify that. And the fourth column is the name of the foreign key for the other table in the pivot table. So we know that it is the subject underscore id. So we are going to specify that as well. Remember by default we do not need to specify it because Laravel will assume them to be student underscore id and subject underscore id based upon the model. We are going to make similar changes in the subject model as well. We are going to specify it the name of the pivot table which is subjects of students. And the third is the name of the foreign key in the pivot table for this. So here it will be subject id. And the fourth is the foreign key for the other table, which would be student underscore id. So let's go to Tinker and see if it is working or not. We are going to fetch the student. And we are going to fetch its subjects. Even though we have changed the name of the pivot table, this is still going to work. And there we go. We get the ID 3 and 5 and the corresponding name of the subject 
for this student now let's say this student underscore id column in the pivot table is named as stu underscore id let's see how we can tackle this in laravel since we have changed the name of the forum key from student underscore id to stu underscore id we could specify by changing this third parameter and if you go to subject model we will need to change this fourth parameter and that is it our relationship will now work fine now let's say this column subject underscore id and pivot table is renamed as sub underscore id let's see how to tackle this in lar since we have changed this subject underscore id to sub underscore id we are going to make a change over here in the fourth parameter and in the subject param subject model we will need to change the third parameter and that is it now our relationship would work just fine now we can call this method anything that we want depending upon our business logic so instead of subjects let's say we are going to call it courses let's see if it is working fine we go to tinker we fetch the first student now we can fetch all the subjects of this student using the keyword courses and it should work just fine and there we go it returns both the courses of this student 3 and 5 now so far in our pivot table we only have foreign keys let's say you want to store the marks of student in each subject we will need to create an extra column in the pivot table for this we will create a marks column and we will give it a default value of null so let's say how we can define this in the eloquent models now that we have defined the marks column in the subject in the pivot table we need to tell our relationship and we could uh, do that using with pivot method and it would and we would pass it the name of our column we can pass any number of columns separated by comma but since in our case we only have one column we are going to pass just one we'll make the same changes in the subject model as well now let's see how we can use save to save this extra column we go to tinker and we are going to fetch uh, second student we are also going to fetch a subject with id2 and now we can link this student and subject using using courses method and we are going to pass it save and then the subject and then we can pass an array which will have the column name and the value of that column if we press enter we see that we have a new entry into the table along with the marks column that we specified now if we want we can also update using the same syntax as above but instead of using save we could use update existing pivot and instead of 88 let's specify 98 now if we press enter we refresh our db we see that the marks have been updated so that is how extra columns 
can be saved into the pivot table. In order to get the student which have courses, we could use the has method. We are going to pass it the name of the relationship courses and then we are going to pass get method. And there we go. To get students which do not have any courses, instead of has, we can use a we can use doesn't have. And this will give us all the students which have no courses. In order to get a student with a particular course, we could use app subject and then with method students and we are going to specify the id of the course along with get so this will give us all the students which are subscribed to this course if we want to fetch number of courses each student is subscribed to we can use with count method we are going to pass it courses and it will give us a column courses underscore count if we want we can also order by using this field courses underscore count get and now students will be ordered by number of courses in the ascending order if we want to get student with two or more courses we could use app student has and then we will pass pass it the name of the method and here we can specify the condition as the second and third parameter So this gives us only one student which has two or more courses. We can also query on the pivot table on the extra column that we have created. So what we are going to do is we are going to fetch student with courses and we are going to use where as method and we are going to pass it a closure and within this closure we are going to specify the condition so we are going to specify marks greater than 50 and then we are going to use get method I'm don't going to copy it and paste it into tinker and there we go we get the student along with the subject where the marks is greater than 50. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you are having any problem related to belongs to many relationship, do let me know in comments and please subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. Thank you.